So as per usual, I'm starting with a shade that's close to my skin tone and applying that all over my lid. That way when I apply the remaining colors, it all blends out very nicely. And I'm gonna grab the warm brown shade and put that all over my crease and just blend that out in wiper motion. What do they call it? Win winder, wiper, I don't even know, but you know what I mean. <laughs> As you can see, I am just focusing it on the upper area of my eyes. I'm not really bringing it down to my lid area. So I wanted to go ahead and just show you guys the difference between the brushes that I'm using uh, because I really feel like the brushes play an important role in when you're trying to apply your eyeshadow. So as you can see, the first brush, the black one, I applied that all over my lid. That was the first color that I used. And then I grabbed this brush, which is a little smaller, and put that using the brown shade. And now I'm grabbing this brush right here, which is even smaller than the other two, and grabbing the burgundy shade and applying that on my crease. Using a smaller brush like this will uh, allow you to be more precise when you're applying your eyeshadow in your crease. So I'm just grabbing that burgundy shade and putting it with the smaller fluffier brush into my crease. And then I do go back with the biggest brush out of the three that I showed you guys and just blend out the edges just to make sure there isn't any harsh lines. Once I have a base of that burgundy color all over my crease, I do go back with the smallest brush of the three. And again, just being more precise, I really define my crease and just build up that burgundy color. Back to the second brush where I applied the brown shade. I'm gonna grab a little bit of that and then just again, uh, blending it out on top of the uh, burgundy eyeshadow. I just follow this step a few times. That way I'm just building the eyeshadows up I feel like it's key is just building up your eyeshadow and blending it out and taking your time when you're doing both. I'm gonna move on to my lid. I'm using this gorgeous uh, eyeshadow from ColourPop and applying that all over my uh, lid. And then I did want to intensify the lid area. You can keep it just like that if you wish, but I felt like using another color and applying it on top, putting that all over my lid area on top of the ColourPop eyeshadow. And keep in mind, you can use any type of eyeshadow that you feel like. As long as you know the technique, you can really play around with the colors. So now I'm gonna go ahead and use another fourth brush. Uh, for my crease and again I wanted to show you guys the difference between the four as you can see the three on the left is what I've already used and they're round they're fluffy and then the one on the far right is just denser and thinner so it will really give me better control when I'm trying to apply a darker shade in my crease so I'm grabbing this brown shade and just really blending that out where my uh, glitter ends where my eyeshadow that I put on my lid ends so I'm just placing that there. I decided to grab this deep purple uh, shade and blend it with the brown just to give it a more holiday vibe and I'm just gonna go ahead and build that up in my crease. And again, I am going back and forth between brushes, just building up the color because when you blend out, some of the color will go away. So I'm just going between the two brushes um, and grabbing some of the burgundy with the fluffy round brush, then back to the denser flat brush and putting the brown and purple in there till I'm happy with the way it looks. So I did go a little bit higher than I intended to and that's okay if you feel like you brought the eyeshadow a little way a little high up than what you would have hoped. Um, you can easily remove this and erase it with a pale matte eyeshadow that's close to your skin tone. So I'm just grabbing the shade and literally I am just going over where I felt like I overdid it and just erasing all that eyeshadow away. So when you're trying to figure out what kind of color to bring, either one close to your skin tone or, or a color that you normally put on your brow bone would work fine, but just make sure that it's matte, not shiny or shimmer. And then just grabbing 
the burgundy shade and just blending it out nicely so that way there's not a harsh line from the eraser eyeshadow that I put on. And of course with all that blending some of the eyeshadow had to fall off so I'm just going back with the shimmer eyeshadow that I put on my lid and then just pressing that in. So I'm just grabbing some wipes with olive oil and just fixing the edge and really sharpening it up. This is what I have so far. I already applied a base of concealer and now I'm grabbing another shade of concealer that's a little bit lighter and applying that in the inner corner of my under eye just to give it a nice highlight. I don't grab too much powder, I just set my under eyes and then whatever is over I just uh, wipe that around my smile lines and my t-zone area wherever I feel like I could get a little bit oily. Back with that fourth flat brush that we used, I'm going to go ahead and dip it in with some of the burgundy eyeshadow and put that all over my lower lash line and I'm making sure that I am connecting it to my upper lid area. So I'm just contouring my cheekbones a little bit, you know the drill. And then I do grab a fluffy brush with regular bronzer on and just blend out the contour that I did and at the same time bronze up my face even more. I actually completely forgot after I recorded this whole video, I forgot to contour my nose. So this look is going to be without a contour nose. It's okay. <laughs> it happens. And you know with blushes, I like mixing blushes together, so I'm mixing three blushes together, why not? And then applying that on my cheeks and taking it up to my cheekbones. That's a lot. Oh my god. <laughs> that is way too much blush. Might as well finish it off, right? So as you can see, I applied a little too much blush, but that's okay. I just grabbed my foundation brush. I didn't have any foundation on, but with the excess foundation that's already on the brush, I just dabbed it into my skin to remove a little bit of the blush. We're going to highlight the inner corner of the eyes with this highlighter right here and pop that in the inner corner. I actually wanted something a little bit more even lighter so I went back with the shade that's lightest and put that down my nose, the bridge of my nose, as well as blended it out in the inner corner and my cupid's bow. So if you feel like the inner corner is a little too intense, the highlight, just grab a fluffy brush and then just blend it out. So I went ahead and popped in some lashes and put some eyeliner on. I feel like I still want to make this a little bit more intense. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab a black shade and just put that in the outer corner of my eyes just to intensify the look just a little bit more. I'm just going to pop it right here. Focusing only on the outer corner of my eye. I'm not bringing it forward like I did with the other colors. And then back with that burgundy color, I'm gonna just blend that out even more. serious man I just recorded a whole swatching thing and it wasn't even recording I'm such an idiot Ugh. what I did also for my lower lash line I mixed these three colors together and then just intensified my lash line even more um, that way it just brought the whole look together so 
that's what I did. I'm sorry, my camera died on me. Okay, so onto the lips. I don't know which color to choose. I think I'm gonna go with, I want something close to my shirt color. So maybe, maybe this one. might be it so let's go ahead and try this lip color out I'm first gonna just line my lips with the Jordana lip liner this is just a very dark deep burgundy lip liner so I just lined them a little bit and then I'm gonna go over this lip cream in the color Translevania Hopefully it's not too dark. Oh, it's perfect. So this is the final result. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe down below. I would greatly appreciate it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Oh my god, what is that? What is that? It's not even July 4th. Oh my god.